This video will be a full tour and documentation of this 2020 Hyundai Elantra Value Edition. This Elantra is painted in the phantom black exterior color. The Value Edition trim does come with smart key access. On the driver's door panel, you get some storage with a bottle holder. This vehicle does have power windows, power door locks, and power mirrors. The Value Edition trim has cloth seats, and the one we have here has the gray interior color scheme. Both front seats are fully manually adjusted. Got your trunk and fuel door releases. And now that we're behind the wheel, let's go ahead and start the engine. The key fob houses the buttons for lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. And along with smart key access, it does have push button ignition. So just make sure the key fob is somewhere in the vehicle. Put your foot on the brake and push the ignition. The Elantra is Hyundai's contender in the compact segment competing with the likes of the Honda Civic and Toyota Corolla. The Elantra made its debut in the U.S. market for 1992 and has been in production ever since. As of the 2022 model year, the Elantra is currently in its seventh generation. This 2020 model we have here represents the sixth generation of the Elantra, codenamed AD, and sold in North America for model years 2017 through 2020. The 6th generation Elantra rides on the same platform as the 3rd generation Kia Forte, which debuted for 2019, and it ditched Hyundai's old fluidic sculpture design language from the outgoing generation. The 2019 model year saw the Elantra receive a pretty substantial mid-cycle facelift. The 2019 update gave the Elantra a revised exterior with brand new front and rear fascias. It also received some updates to the interior and upgraded features and tech. For 2020, the final model year for the 6th generation Elantra, it got further updates, this time pertaining to the transmissions. The 6-speed manual was discontinued, and the available 6-speed automatic was replaced with Hyundai and Kia's new version of a CVT automatic, known as an IVT. The 7-speed dual clutch was carried over. The U.S. market 2020 Hyundai Elantra is available in the following trim levels, SE, SEL, Value Edition, Eco, Sport, and the Range Topping Limited. SE, SEL, Value Edition, and Limited are powered by a naturally aspirated 2.0-liter inline-4 engine making 147 horsepower, paired to the SmartStream IVT automatic transmission. The Elantra Eco has a less powerful but more torquey 1.4-liter turbocharged inline-4, which is paired to a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic. Finally, the most potent Elantra, the Sport, packs a 1.6-liter turbo 4 producing just over 200 horsepower, which is also paired to the 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. In Hyundai's 2020 lineup of four-door sedans, the compact Elantra is slotted between the subcompact Accent and the mid-sized Sonata. The instrument cluster houses four analog gauges, along with a digital info display, which can be controlled via the controls on the steering wheel. The checkered pattern in the gauges, really nice touch.
It has a four-spoke design, leather-wrapped, multifunctional steering wheel. There are sport grips at 10 and 2, along with a nice gloss black band on the bottom. You've got your audio, along with hands-free phone and voice command controls. Right here, you've got your cruise control, along with the aforementioned info display controls. The steering wheel is tilt and telescopic. Got your fuse panel behind here, your brightness adjustment, blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist, traction control, air vent for the driver, your exterior lighting stock, and your wiper stock. Also more of that, actually this is more of like a faux carbon fiber look. Going down the center of the interior, you've got some air vents, the touchscreen interface for your infotainment system with a set of physical controls, your push button ignition, your hazard light button, passenger airbag indicator. Right here are all the controls for your dual zone automatic climate control, some storage, along with Two power outlets, a USB port, and an aux port. Next to the gear shifter, you've got your drive mode selector button. Drive modes are normal, sport, and smart, which is an eco mode basically. And then you've also got the controls for your three stage heated front seats. Putting it into reverse does reveal a backup camera. The vehicle's parking brake is hand operated. Two cup holders, center console. Both sun visors do have vanity mirrors, lights, and extensions, and as the usual Hyundai Kia light mechanism with for grab handles for the front passenger and rear passengers. On the overhead console, you've got a sunglass holder, your overhead lighting, and the controls for your power sunroof. Where's the sunshade? So obviously you got your touchscreen interface and then there's also an array of physical controls. And anyways, here we are on our home screen. Go to all menus, phone to pair a phone, your Hyundai Blue Link, driving information, Sirius XM data, which is all your travel link stuff. If you have a subscription and look at your local weather local sports, stocks, fuel prices, and local movies. A quick guide if you're new to the system. Take your radio. Setup takes you to all your settings. Then voice memo is basically a built-in voice recorder. So, pretty simple system to use. And now we'll go ahead and roll down the driver's window and then take a look at the engine bay. The driver's window is fully automatic. The rims on the SEL and Value Edition trims are these 16-inch 5 split-spoke alloys.
Powering the 2020 Elantra Value Edition is an Atkinson Cycle 2-liter naturally aspirated inline 4. It's a dual overhead cam engine with 4 valves per cylinder and dual continuously variable valve timing. It puts out 147 horsepower at 6200 RPM and 132 pound-feet of torque at 4500 RPM. Power is sent to the front wheels and the transmission is Hyundai's SmartStream IVT automatic with a manual mode. Running on regular and leaded with a 14-gallon fuel tank, the Elantra Value Edition gets an impressive 30 mpg in the city and 40 mpg on the highway. It has a McPherson strut front suspension, a torsion beam rear suspension, and four-wheel disc brakes. Curb weight ranges from roughly 2,800 to 3,000 pounds. As you saw earlier, the fuel cap is on the driver's side. And the rear door panel, you got more storage with a bottle holder. Back seat also folds down 60-40 split to a cargo space. You have two cup holders right here. This side, you've also got a coat hook. I do like that new rear fascia that they did when they refreshed the Elantra for 2019. Single exhaust. The trunk of the Elantra offers 14.4 cubic feet of cargo space. Anyhow, thanks for checking out this tour of this 2020 Hyundai Elantra, and as always, stay on the lookout for future tours.